Yo, I know you hear me on the stereo She's too real for your radio I'm not trying to make it sound personal But Last time on Salai's Life do that like we came here to resolve these issues not make more now megan why are you here like girl what's up <laughs> megan why are you here i can tell you why i'm not here i'm not here to have secret meetings behind my best friend back like what is this like what's going on and me and Brittany just decided to come out because we're grown and we can do that you know, I'm not even going to get into it with you because my daughter is at your house. That is your niece, Brittany. Like, we're not about to do this. Like, I don't know what y'all came here or approached us for. but Um, this is Sahid's girlfriend. <laughs> yes, Sahid does have a girlfriend. What are you doing here? I could have sworn I told you to get out of my life. You hurt... <laughs> You hurt the person I care the most. And I, I want to be in your life. I haven't been in your life for years. I just want to meet my granddaughter and have a relationship. We just want to meet our granddaughter and have a relationship. Thank you for letting me know that you're moving out today. I just feel like we have the greatest line of communication. Like, forget the fact that you decided that you were dropping out of school and you told me nothing and you didn't even go back to your mom's house. You went back to your sister's house and didn't tell anything and I had to ask your mom. But, you know, I just feel like despite that, we just have the greatest communication. Oh, I forget a major thing. We've been together for three years and you still... <laughs> You still don't find it comfortable to tell me certain things? Hmm. <laughs> Best thing years of my life. Greatest boyfriend ever. Yes, man. On some real shit, like, you doing way too much. If you have a problem, and I told you this time and time again, just be direct. Like, all this passive aggressive shit is so unnecessary. Like, be direct. Like, what's your issue? Okay, what you're not going to do is, you're not going to sit here and act like I'm angry for no reason. If you want me to be direct, sweetie, I can be direct. My issue with you is, there is obviously something bothering you, and you're not telling me. And that's my issue with you, Sabi. What is going on? Like, you come to my house, you're telling me that you just thought I have a problem. You know, we have sex, you don't tell me anything else, and you just, like, aren't who you were when we got together. Like, what is going on? I'm not crazy. I'm not delusional. Something is going on and you're not telling me. Yes, man. There is just some stuff that happened before we even got together that I'm dealing with. And I just need you to understand that I can't open up to you about every single thing. Sometimes I have to deal with stuff on my own. Like, if I'm ready to share it with you, I will. But you know a good chunk about me. Just let me go through this alone by myself. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. We're in a whole relationship and you want to go through things alone. That makes perfect sense. God damn, like it's always some drama. Why are they even here? Son, it's so good to see you. I thought you would be back in school. What you doing here? 
Nah, dad. Like, nah. Like, why are you here? Like, you know that Salah got feelings for you. I mean, she entitled to feel that way. I know at the end of the day, you my dad, but it's it's just too much. And then you bringing her. Like, like you big tripping. I don't know what's going on, but this this ain't it. Nah, boy, I don't care if you're 21 or 210. You gonna respect me at the end of the day. Cause I'm your father, you ain't mine. So if I wanna come see my damn daughter and you, I can. Yes, sir, I hear you. But you, even you can say that this is too much. Even you. I'm gonna let you feel how you need to feel, but you will address Melody as Melody, cause that's who she is. Miss Melody will do fine. But anyway, how are you doing, young lady? I am Sahid's father, it's really nice to meet you. Hi, it's really nice to meet you. I'm Yasmin, I'm Sahid's girl. Yeah, Pop, she's just my friend. I gotta bring all my stuff in from the car, cause I'm not going back to school no more. Uh, I thought Ma would have told you, but I guess she didn't. I don't know, but I'm not going back. I'm trying to do this fashion stuff, so it is what it is. I'll talk to you about it later. you damn right we're going to talk about it later. I didn't work too hard to send you to school for you to drop out. Yeah, I'm going to call you later. Over here tiptoeing and shit. What's up? First of all, I wasn't tiptoeing. If I wanted to tiptoe up and down this bitch, I could. Because I paid rent here. Anyway, why are you here? Because when I told you that me and Tasha had an argument, you didn't text me back. But when Tasha tells you that you and her have issues, you decide to stay at your girlfriend's house and don't even ask how I know what's going on. Or no? Don't even ask because I know y'all. I've lived with the both of y'all for all my life. Are you going to answer life, the so question or not? I what's going on. I did this for you. I didn't do it for me. My, my whole life, I've been looking out for you. And you're going to sit here and return and not even have my back. You act like I'm tripping. Like I'm angry for no reason. Fuck out of here, Sahib. If I really wanted your help, I would have asked when I was 15. This is none of your business. And I don't even know... Why you going through her phone in the first place? But if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. Best friend or not, Tasha don't have to tell you a damn thing. She don't have to tell you nothing. I don't understand what people don't understand about that. Some people can keep some shit to themselves. They don't have to tell, let you know the ins and out of what everything that they've done and how they feel. If she wanted to get an abortion, she could. She can do whatever the fuck she wants to do with her body. Like, she, and she don't have to let you know that she did that. Are you fucking her? No, you're not. It's none of your business. Secondly, you got all this anger, and it's not for, towards me. It's to, it's to Keith or somebody. I don't know who you mad at. But you got all this anger 
But you ain't everything to tell me the whole time when I was growing up that she was gay. Because I know she told you. I knew that you knew. And I know for sure that you knew. Because that's why you so mad right now. So why have you never told me? No First of all, anybody can see that Tasha was never into you gay or not. So I don't even know why you big mad about me not telling you. Obviously, you found out, nigga. And second of all, I'm going to let that keep shit slide. Because I just saw you and Yasmin outside. And it looks like something going on with y'all. So I'm not even about to get into that with you. And it's only because you're my brother. And I know that you love me and I love you. And you mad right now. But <laughs> I just can't deal with this shit with you right now. Like, you're not about to talk to me like that. Not after all I didn't dump you. After our fucking mama can't get out the fucking bed because she's so depressed. And daddy is over somewhere fucking Melody. And then Megan at school talking shit. Like, I'm not about to do this with you. I've been there for you. I have. And so when it's time for you to be there for me, it's a problem. Whatever. Damn, bro, you couldn't have picked a better time? My bad, bro. What's going on? <sighs> Nothing, man. Me and Yasmin, we're just going through it right now. Like, this is the first time we broke up in a minute. Bro, listen, this is what you need to do. You need to come out with us. I ain't seen you in, like, a couple months. It's Thanksgiving break. Come on, turn up with us. Not one time. Man, I don't know. But fuck it. I'm not trying to be sad all night. Give me 15 minutes. Hi, beauties. It is Kiko Baby. So, Mary and I are finally back with another semi video. So, today we are on episode 7 of Salai's Life. And I know it's been a while, but y'all, I have no excuse. Um, this, this, like, I, well, I guess I do. <laughs> well, um, when I started out, I didn't think, like, the machinima parts would get as long as they are. And, like, you know, the game, it doesn't allow you to do a lot. So I have to do the machinima, part, machinima parts to tell my story accurately because I don't want to just be sitting here not but like could you imagine like looking at this screen and just me telling you everything that just happened in the intro like that's not fun for anyone and i know some of you guys don't like it but <laughs> this is the only way i can tell my story i'm sorry so <laughs> let's talk about the intro for a little bit um i want to know what you guys think about Suki. i kind of want to focus in like you know each episode it just like tells more and more about this story and I kind of like like I wanted to do this episode like a thousand ways like I want to go to Solani I wanted to do so much but I kind of just like just needs to focus in on like what is Solani's life and that is the character like changes like the focus changes almost every episode and um they're still connected but you get to see more things from their perspectives i'm sorry the way that Sahid is looking at the screen is low-key funny but uh as you guys can tell from the intro um we are focusing in on S Sahid and y'all already know what your girl's about to do i'm about to ask a question do you guys think that Sahid is right you know not tell her things like he doesn't want to tell her it all everything about her about himself and i i don't know i know a lot of you guys would be like 
Oh, if you're in a relationship, then you have to tell your partner everything. Not to mock you. I'm sorry <laughs> for doing that voice. But me personally, I think there are some things that you you can keep to yourself and you don't have to tell anyone else because before you have a relationship with someone romantically, you have a relationship with yourself. So if he's gone through certain things, I don't think that he has to tell her because, you know, he doesn't have to. Like, there's no relationship guide that says, oh, when you get in a relationship, you have to tell that person everything. The only reason people do that is because people say that. And one thing we got to, we tend to forget as people, what if one thing works for someone, doesn't mean that it'll work for the next person. So, I just know what you guys think on that. And, yeah. Oh, this is a warning. <clears throat> This part may have like a lot of machinima in it because um, Sahid was in school and that's where a lot of his life is. So like I can't, I'm like, I'm going to do my best. You're going to see like I can't do my best. I can do my best to tell it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a lot of machinima parts. But I just wanted to warn you guys, the last part, let's play portion may not be that long. So yeah. So as you can guys heard in the beginning, we are um, uh, going out with our friends. And our friends, I'm talking about Sahid. So here goes Sahid. I really like his outfit. Let me kind of. Sahid is like that nigga. I love the way he dressed. Okay, so he kind of reminds me of Shaq. And if you don't know who Shaq is, <laughs> baby girl, <laughs> you're young as hell. Okay. So, uh, this is his outfit. I feel like this is so Sahid. Like, it's his style. Like, it's just him. So, this is uh, Sahid for the night. Oh, by the way. <laughs> I completely forgot. I decided to cut Sahid's hair. You know, I got tired of the braids and stuff like that. So, I decided to go with this look. I also gave him a new job preset. I feel like it makes him look more masculine and older because like so he was like 20 21 so like i feel like he kind of looked a bit childish with his old job preset um and i like it i like how he looks now i feel like <laughs> he just, oh, let, me, let me get my mouth sorry right okay i feel like he a snack i feel like he's zaddy like i'm i don't know like he looked good like because yeah, at first i was like oh okay nigga but now i was like okay nigga what's good anyway so now we're going to move. Let me get my mouse right. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't record. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to the go to the right. And all the this is this. This is Felix. This is Sahid, one of Sahid's friends and roommate. Oh, um. Oof. Um. Mm, disrespectful. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so back to what I was saying before I was really interrupted by that ad. This is Felix. He was made by Complex Sims. This is one of Sahib's roommates and close friends. They've known each other, you know, since sophomore year. And up until recently, they lived together since sophomore year. Okay. So, uh, right here is Mason. And Mason is... So he's right at eye. Like, they met, like, I think orientation freshman year. And to remind you guys, um, so he, if he was still in school, this would be his senior year. But he's not, so, like, I guess, no. They're up okay. So they're juniors. So they're juniors in college. So they've known each other since um, orientation freshman year. And they've been close since. This is so he's best friend. Best friend in the world, knows everything, you know. And this is the one who called him earlier. So this is Mason. I love Mason. I think Mason look good, y'all. Oh, Mason look good. <laughs> if you have a family member who looks like Mason, especially if they are, you know, African, Nigerian, um, let me know. Put me on. <laughs> My sister, put me on. Okay. Next, we're going to go to another friend. This is... Let me, uh, let me back up. This is Bradley. 
This is Bradley. Him and Sticky, they've known each other not that long. Well, for about a year, year and a half. Yep, yeah, well, I guess it's a long time. I don't know. I guess. So this is Bradley. This is Sticky's friend. He also lives in this dorm. Um, you know, they just kind of, they have a lot of the same interests, as you can tell. They kind of dress alike. He wants to pursue modeling as well. He wants to do so much that, you know, he's majoring in some type of fashion background. And as you can see, all of them, <laughs> the turn up is real. Do y'all see what's going on in here? The turn up is real. So let's see, I have one more person to introduce to y'all. And this is Ashanti. Ashanti is Sahid's plug. She got the she got the gas on her all the time and it's one of his close friends he's known her since freshman year but you know they're not as close as masons but they're pretty close so basically oh she's little she's not gonna be here in the house anymore okay. oh, say it like, it's like that she's gone okay so and um this is basically give y'all a little for a little ghetto in here but keep in mind you this is a, a dorm room so um this is the entrance, you know, the air conditioning. I don't, I don't know what this is. Like, if you know what this is, let me know in the comments. But, you know, this is your pretty much your basic, you know, college dorm room. A little cheap, raggedy, dusty, crusty, all that. So, here goes some shoes. Because, you know, um, Felix is a big shoe collector. So, I guess I can kind of take you into the, like, the living area. So, I can take you guys into the dorm room. As you can see, this is... So Bradley and Sahid, they shared a room. So this is Bradley's side of the room. Remember, Bradley is right here. This is Bradley. <laughs> Bradley. So this is Bradley's side of the room. And this is Sahid's side. As you can see, nothing is over here because he moved out. Um, and this is Felix and Mason's room. We got some clothes over here. This is Felix's bed. And, um... This is Mason's bed. As you can see, each side, each bed comes with, you know, a little a wardrobe and um, a hamper. And so he's is completely gone. Would you like the ghetto? So, um, as you guys saw in the beginning, Mason was trying to get everybody to go out. So they're just trying to, you know, just. He like a little buzz because you know so he's kind of going through it. So like, uh, I guess I'm just gonna press play and I'm just gonna let them get that little um the hot box because this place is small. Let them get their little hot box together and then we're going to go to the club again. Hi, hi, hi. I need to hear my song. Let me see if this is my song, y'all. I'm trying to get my song. Hold on, y'all. I hate this one. I hate this song. Let's... I don't like this song either. So, what are you doing after this? Are you, like, busy? Um, I don't know, really. Uh, I think we gonna link and hit a Denny's. You could come through, but hold on. I'll be right back. gonna tell me that I'm wrong. Bitch, it's still fuck you and Maybe the DVD. It's just enough. Hold on, I'll be right back. Um, excuse me. I know you probably get this all the time, but I just saw you and I thought that you was beautiful, but like, I don't know. It's just something different. Are you a model? I hit your phone like, what's up when you hmm. get this sex phone? So, since I'm six, but I have to be a model? 
Well, you're what? Six foot five, you're black. What are you, a basketball player? <laughs> nah, I know you're basketball. Well, shit, since you six foot, we could always meet somebody else on the team. You know, you play defense. I got your back. You know, what's up? You trying to come through with it? <laughs> That's cute. I like that. But the only place I'm coming through is the library. If you would like to meet me there, you can. But that's the only place I'm going. Okay, alright, I'll see you there. Okay, we'll see about that. Yeah, that shit attractive and you nasty. Told me come break your back in. What's popping later? We got action, no distraction. No place that we can crash in. I'm actually surprised that you came. <laughs> I just really want to get to know you better, and if this is the way you want to do it, this is the way that we're going to do it. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at the theory of relativity. So, we all know that in the Hey, bro, I saw you up and down with Raylene. You know she's been wanting you since, like, forever. You gonna go back home with her? Oh. You good? What's going on? Nah, nah, man, I'm good off that. I just, I think we done, like, for real, for real. I just wanted to apologize for leaving like that. You are smart, amazing, talented, and I'm just happy that I'm able to witness this as an adult. Because, Brittany, I don't deserve you. beauties you have made it to the end of episode seven i hope you guys enjoyed it i am sorry that there wasn't a whole bunch of gameplay if you guys want to see that let me know you know just the last episode it was kind of od it's, it's like an hour so um if you want to see more gameplay let me know if you like this let me know and for all my sahid stands i'm sorry i'm just telling the story <laughs> But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social medias. They are down below. And y'all, <laughs> guess what? I can stream on the 9th. So expect a stream coming very, very, very soon. So thank you guys so much for all like your love and your support. I'm going to try, you know, my best to get these episodes out a lot sooner. I'm in a lot healthier mind space, so I hope to get it out to you guys, you know, in a timely manner. I've been working real hard on this episode, so let me know what you think down below. Okay, I'll see y'all in the community tab. All right, bye, y'all.